So at long last, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, season 2 has officially begun for Winter of Anime 2021. It's been a while, a while, a very long while since I talked about reincarnated as a slime. And man, watching this episode rekindled all those emotions, all those feelings I had for the series, and why... I loved the series in the first place. Why I really wanted to pick up every single light novel volume and read it because it's very immersive, enjoyable, and a different take to storytelling from all the other Sekai I saw at the time. Example, seeing Rimuru actually building a civilization of monsters that are friendly and coexisting with those around him and, you know, trying to get people to like him, even though he's overpowered, is a very different type of formula. I really love that type of design and all the characters are incredibly likable and bring so much life to the cast. And I don't know, just th this episode really showcased why I love this series. I've, I've missed it so much. I really have missed reincarnated as a slime and I think many can agree with me. The sad thing is about this episode is that it's a lot of recap. Majority of this first episode of season two is just straight up recap. The only new stuff and content we got was basically towards the end with the whole diplomacy going on with like the beastmen coming and trying to make contact with Rimuru and you know for the demon lord and all that to join hands and see if they actually can be allies or not. That That's kind of the only thing that was really progress, with fights getting started towards the end of the episode. Besides that, everything was basically kind of a recap to remind us everything that happened, what, you know, each character was doing, etc., which I think is a good thing. Like I said, it's been a long time. It's at the very least been over a year. I think it may have been almost two years since Reincarnate as a Slime came to a close. Its first season did, so it's been a long time. People will easily... Forget few minor details that happen. I mean, I know for a fact I did because it's been a long time. And just getting to be reacquainted with what everything that Rimuru has accomplished and, you know, the demon lords to just seeing, you know, Gobta and all that, seeing, you know, the goblins actually, you know, making a civilization. There, there's a lot to really, you know, get reacquainted with. And that's what the recap really did for us. It was a good recap. It was. And it wasn't a necessarily boring recap either. Either. It wasn't like, oh, last time on, you know, the previous season, which, oh, okay, I love that narrator drama. I tried to meme it, but I actually really like that narrator. But jokes aside, I think that the recap did a good job with keeping us entertained and, you know, kind of giving us old content while also giving us pro a progress or pacing with this episode. So not really many complaints on that front whatsoever. So let's get right into it. Visually speaking, it looks the same as the previous season. It doesn't necessarily look bad. Um, I do think that there was some scenes of this first episode of season two that looked a little bit off. Like, at least towards the end. Some of the stances of the characters towards the end when they were fighting looked a little bit weird. Not bad, but looked weird. And I do wonder if it's because this episode's more of a throwaway. Because it's it's definitely different than a new series starting up. Because remember, when you have a new anime coming out, obviously the first episode is probably going to look really good. It should look good. It's trying to get new fans to join in and watch the series. However, when you already have established series that's obviously incredibly popular, it sells a lot of light novels copies and manga copies, you don't really need to go as ham on the first episode of a season two. You should, definitely, but you don't necessarily need to go full on and do everything you can to attract as many viewers as, you know, as you want, because the people that are watching season two are those fans that really enjoy the series and just want more slime content. But on top of that, this is a recap episode. So to be fair, why would they go all in and be like 100% like beautiful animation for pretty much a recap episode so that also makes a lot of sense so even though there is definitely some parts about this first episode of season two that look a little bit off I don't think it's actually anything to be worried about unless we start seeing it throughout the entirety of season two but for now I'm excited and I'm happy so let's uh let's actually get in to the stuff towards the end 
So basically what's being built up here is that Rimuru civilization is making a diplomacy with like this demon lord and things are kind of getting out of hand and they're getting into a fight. And it's obviously showing that this is not going to go as planned. You have individuals that are really not caring about Rimuru's overall structure in society because when they look at him they're like oh it's a slime that's hilarious that's embarrassing which makes a lot of sense when you think about a slime leading an entire nation you'll probably laugh to yourself like one of the weakest creatures of all of fantasy is leading this giant civilization that is allied with, you know, goblins, allied with Ani, allied with humans, allied with dwarves. You know, why would all of them ally with a slime? This is embarrassing and all that. Why would you do that? But at the same time, if I was someone of higher power... I would definitely open an eye and be like, that is strange. Why would all these individuals want to side with a slime of all things? That would actually make me be very suspicious and weary of said slime just because of how many people allied with this individual. But clearly some of the diplomats that are there aren't necessarily really good at their job to be picking a fight with Rimuru's group and Rimuru himself because, you know, that's not what you would do in that type of situation. But we'll, we'll see where that's going to go. But, um, one thing I do want to mention is, I could be wrong here. Correct me if I am indeed wrong in the comments below, but I believe this arc we're getting into is actually an arc that we skipped in the previous season. Once again, I could be wrong. I remember something about an arc being skipped at the end of season one, and... If that is true, we're getting that arc animated for the beginning of Season 2, which is a good thing. I'm glad that they're going back and reanimating or, you know, animating content that wasn't adapted to kind of make it fit into place with what Season 2 is going to be about. I have heard from a lot of people that Reincarnated as a Slime does get a lot darker. So this is most likely going to be a pretty dark season from what I've heard. That That's what I've heard. Could be wrong about that. But looking at the opening song, there is some interesting scenes that kind of show a darker outlook like you see some demon fights going on but you'll also see like Rimuru with kind of like a very sad or frowned expression that doesn't show his eyes so I do wonder exactly what that actually means it does kind of imply that something probably bad is going to happen in this season of reincarnated as a slime oh yeah and since I was on the topic of the art kind of looking off I do think it's right to also mention scenes that look really good especially seeing like you know this scene with you know the tigers the way they look the art oh my goodness that is it looks incredible to me and then there's other scenes like this we also get to see as well throughout the episode so this is a counter to some of the scenes that look a little bit off and I mean let's be fair here reincarnated as a slime is never been like a 10 out of 10 art and animation even in the first season but you know, I still think, though, just seeing scenes like this is also reassuring as well not to really be that concerned. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. There's not a whole lot to talk about, because, recap, but I'm excited. I know everybody's excited. We have another Asekai for, you know, this anime season. There's already so many, a lot of good ones I still need to talk about, but I'm going to leave it at that. I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. If you enjoy my content... Please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And with that, Chibi out.